but before we show you how to do it, we're gonna show you how not to do it. So there's a couple of ways that you can clean glass on a normal piece of glass that doesn't have tin on it, that's safe for glass, that's not safe for window tint. And the reason for that is because glass is a very scratch resistant surface, specifically the tempered glass that most vehicles use. So on tempered glass, you can use things like a razor blade to scrape adhesive and things like that off. Uh, we see this a lot from dealerships. They'll put a window sticker on the car. And if it's not tinted, great. You can use a razor blade. Sometimes the dealership will use a razor blade and mess up the tint. You can also use steel wool. If you're gonna do this, make sure you use 0000. It's called 4 ought steel wool. Anything more aggressive than this could scratch it. You can also use paper towels or glass cleaning rags on your glass, but you don't want to use some of these things on tint. So uh, the safe way to clean your tinted windows is very simple. You're going to use a glass cleaning rag just like this one. These are lint free completely. We actually use these when we're tinting to clean our squeegees too, so they really don't leave anything behind. And an ammonia free glass cleaner. So something like this from Griot's Garage is going to be your best bet. This is an alcohol based cleaner, not ammonia. So we'll link uh, both the glass cleaner and the rags in the description here so you can grab those for yourself. So we always like to use the two rag method when we're cleaning glass, kind of like the two bucket method when you're washing a car. And one of these is sort of going to be your wet rag and the other one is going to be your dry rag that you're just buffing the residue off with. Uh, also make sure you start with clean rags. We wash ours consistently with a microfiber detergent. If not, make sure you're starting with a brand new rag or, or something very clean. And the reason you don't want to use ammonia-based cleaners, uh, like I said, this one's alcohol. The ammonia-based cleaners like Windex, they will actually over time degrade the window tint. They can discolor it. So they, that, that chemical sort of gets through uh, the film and damages it. Alcohol will not do that. So we always get full coverage on the window. Take rag one. This is your wet rag. And this stuff's safe to get on interiors as well. It's not gonna hurt anything. And then you just follow through with your dry rag. And polish it dry. I found that if you don't use enough glass cleaner, a lot of people, especially on windshields, uh, they won't use a lot of product. They think that that's better. I've found that you want full coverage with the product. Let rag one take most of it off. And then by the time you follow up with your second clean rag, it looks crystal clear. So what happens if you have adhesive on your tinted window and you can't use a razor blade and you can't use steel wool to take care of it? That's where we recommend isopropyl alcohol. Now we have industrial grade 99%. We get this in 55 gallon drums. Obviously most people are not gonna have that sitting around their house, but you can buy this at Walgreens, at Walmart, any pharmacy, grocery store, whatever, uh, usually in a small bottle. You can get 71 or 90% and you would just wipe this on a rag. We use the same lint free ones and soak the adhesive if there was any on there. It might take a little bit longer to get it off this way than it would uh, obviously with an abrasive, but you're not gonna risk damaging the window this way. Also, we've had people ask us about white vinegar. So in addition to an alcohol-based cleaner or isopropyl, white vinegar is safe on your windows as well. I've never personally used it. That's not what we use here in the shop, but it shouldn't hurt anything with your car windows or with your tent. So if you guys like the tips on how to clean your windows, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks like this. We will see you next video.